Hi everyone, my name is Toluca and I'm the face behind Markers and Minions. Um, I am a teacher in Southern California and this is my fifth year teaching. I've been using Benchmark for two years now and for the year prior I was on the adoption committee studying it, analyzing it, and picking it apart. So I've had experience with it for three years now. Today's Tuesday, which means I want us all to be able to share tips with each other to see what's working. Um, I'm homesick with my baby girl and she's down for a nap so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity for me to try to jump online and figure out this movie recording thing and walk you through one of my best tips. Okay, so let's do this. Let me make my face smaller. La la la. And let's do a screen recording. Okay. So we're going to start on the Benchmark Universe dashboard. Let me make this smaller. Okay, you're going to click on Benchmark Advance, your grade level, for me it's third, and then your unit. Let's start with Unit 1. You're going to see whole group weekly presentations for all three weeks of your unit. Go to Week 1. No, I don't want to create customization. This is too small for me. So I'm going to click on Print, Print to PDF, and it's larger. So this is your outline for the week, and this can be found in your TRS also. Um, this is a lot of lessons, and I usually just choose four or five. I don't teach every single lesson in Benchmark. So this is really helpful, so I can pick and choose what I want to teach, and um, I can see also what's repeating, because a lot of these skills repeat. They spiral. So as we scroll down, you can see that each lesson has a sheet that pertains to it, a print off. So, let me show you. Working together, that's one of the first stories. It's going to have your objectives, your reading purpose, your closed reading task, what the kids are supposed to be annotating, and then my favorite, graphic organizers. So what I do is I print these off, one for each kid, and I, in my mini lesson, I might do the first one, maybe the second one, depending on how they're doing, and then the third one, fourth one, fifth one, whatever the worksheet is, they will do that on their own in their small group. Um, also included in here is all the writing that you need, the spelling. The younger grades even have high-frequency word uh, cards that you can print off. And then the upper grades... I know third for sure has, wait for it, cursive. Um, so what I like to do is just print from each week maybe f eight to ten pages that I like that I'm going to be teaching and I print them off and I make booklets for them because we're fortunate enough to have a print center that makes booklets for us. So it's a lot of prep, and it's a lot of printing, but it really helps. You certainly don't need to print off everything for a week. You can just print off single worksheets here and there, but this is a really great resource to have. All right. Thank you. Hope this helps.